This is a uh, second Ezra 15 and 15. It says for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to open up, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and infinite salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad. Doing this work in truth and in sincerity, teaching the names of Yahweh by Shem Shai, and prophesying against Mount Seir, which today is known as America, and the Bible known as Mystery Babylon the Great. All right, and today we're going to go into this trailer. I got it right here. You know, we're going to, I'm going to make it big and we're going to go into this new trailer uh, for this movie called Civil War that's about to come out. And we just recently saw the movie. Brothers have saw it. We're going to touch on it, Lord willing, tomorrow at camp. Um, leave the world behind. Yep, leave the world behind. All right, this movie, Leave the World Behind, which was a cyber attack that took place that ultimately led to a civil war. All right, so you got civil war in the air recently all right and there is civil wars coming to the land of america man mm -hmm. all right the lord is going to bring civil war to this place uh grab luke 1 and 70 real quick because the lord is speaking right now and the lord is speaking through the prophets man all right starting with our head elders and apostles of the great millstone on down to the uh all the brothers that are, are speaking the same doctrine we're telling you there's going to be a civil war and starting with our head elders they've been telling you that a civil war is coming to america Right, hey, everything that we tell you, the elders and apostles been told you, man, right. that there's going to be FEMA camps in America, that there's going to be uh, civil war, civil unrest, destruction, death, plagues, famines. All right, the, the, the Lord is speaking through men. Go ahead, Ark. Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Yeah, so the Lord is speaking through the prophets right now as we speak, and we're telling you that there's going to be civil war in America, man. That movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, it show you a lot of, a, that was really just a documentary on what's really about to take place, man. What's about to take place is civil unrest. It's gonna be uh, power outages, uh, attack on the, the power grid, famine. famine, you know, because when that happens, there's gonna be no more food in the stores. These people are gonna lose it, man. All right, so what's been in the air a lot lately is civil war, man. And that's what's coming to America. Uh, there's going to be civil war in America. Now, let me go ahead and play this trailer. Right, if I, uh, yep. Before you start the trailer, mm -hmm. um, hey, like the brother was saying, a lot of civil war, you know, speaking is speaking is coming into the light because now you got Joe Biden talking about getting impeached. Mm. And now we're entering into the year coming up, 2024, the election year, mm. you know, and hey, Trump is going to go back into that election, man. Right. He's going to try to run for that election, man. And all hell is going to break loose, bro. Right. Lord willing that all hell break loose 2024 going, hey, 2025 or maybe this year coming up because a lot of shit is, come, a lot of shit is happening. Hey, especially with the election year, people not fucking with Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Hey, people love Donald Trump, man. Right. And, you know, hey, people going to choose sides even though they come from the same bird, you know. But, hey, a lot of hell is about to rise up. That's why sedition is going to be happening. Mm -hmm. Civil unrest, you know, I'm with Trump. No, I'm with Biden, you know, and cyber attack. Hey, all these other foreign countries are not messing with America because of how Biden is moving. Mm -hmm. See, Donald Trump is going to try to, they tell you, save America, make America great again. But that's not going to happen, man. Right, right. You hey, know? and you know, the the wicked elite, there's, they speak in subliminal messages through these movies, man. Predictive programming, you know, they, they put in... Uh, their plans in these movies and people are oblivious man and what's been happening a lot a lot of these movies they talking about civil war another thing about the uh 2024 election year they had that movie purge election year so i mean we'll see you know at the end of the day we're gonna see but no matter what civil unrest is taking place because we know that according to the scriptures it's not about when or it's not about um how it's about when you know that's when that's what all that matters is when it's going to take place and and the lord knows everything's on the lord's time all right so this is the trailer for the movie uh civil war i'm gonna go ahead and play it 
and uh, we'll touch upon it. You know, this day. Now, coincidentally, this is coming out right after Leave the World Behind. Warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The future president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know. And real quick, Salakia, fair use, fair use, fair use. Anything I guess I'm aware it's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. <laughs> Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if... Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? We're well, American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? I'm just trying to let's see. I think this is all good, man. Yeah, get play guys before. Yeah, get started at verse 11. All right, so we're gonna uh, touch on this scene right here. As you see, all the cars broken down, you know, and they show you that also in the movie uh, Leave the World Behind. You know, the, the interstates were all packed with cars, empty cars, and like the scriptures say. A man shall desire to okay, go into a city and shall not be able, man. All right, but go ahead. I... You want me to start? You want me to get it from that point? Wherever you feel. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra's 15. And I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand, and they stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Yeah, and this uh, Egypt is the modern Egypt which is America. So the Lord is promising and he's telling us that there is going to be plagues coming to this place, man, known as America. And one of those plagues is going to be civil war, civil unrest, mm -hmm. destruction, all right? The sword against his neighbor. And they show you that also in that movie, Leave the World Behind, that guy's neighbor was looking at him like a damn stranger when that civil unrest took place. Every man for himself. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, it's not going to be... Uh any trust in the time we entering into and the elder apostle has been saying that lately as well you know hey in that time we ain't gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to trust nobody really mm -hmm. you know as you gotta depend on the lord and really the brotherhood you know that's what uh the elders and apostles have been saying lately mm -hmm. and um reading on verse 13 it says they that till the ground shall mourn for their seeds shall fail through the blessing and hail with, and with a fearful consolation. Mm -hmm. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, woe to the world. All right. Woe means death and destruction, plagues that's coming to this world, man. All right. And civil war has been in the air and civil war is coming to America. I mean, America is split 
directly down the middle. And Yahweh Shai even said it out of his own mouth. He said, any kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. And what we're seeing is the fall of the Roman Empire all over again. Because right. this is America is nothing but the second leg of the Roman Empire. This is Rome all over again. And we're seeing the fall of Rome happening before our very eyes. All right. The second leg. Go ahead. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, one people shall stand up and fight against another, swords in their hands. Civil war. All right? The Lord is going to uh, put a spirit out here, man. The spirit of death. The spirit of uh, even these Edomites. I mean, you got Edomite Republicans. You got Edomite Democrats. And it's di completely divided. Even for this uh, impeachment that was uh, passed by the House, every single Republican, they, they voted for it. But every single Democrat, they voted against it. So it's completely divided. America is divided, split down the middle concerning this political party, which is all nonsense anyway, anyway, because it's, these guys are just puppets for the elite. All right. The elites are the one that really want to bring a total chaos, a destruction, order out of chaos. All right. Right. And uh, in the trailer that we just played, you see the on um, the little military guy. He asked you, what kind of American are you? Right. Because, hey, this is going to be domestic domestic american domestic terrorism right. you know going on in the country right are you right wing or are you left wing mm -hmm. what kind of at that point it doesn't see being american ain't gonna cut it when it's a complete civil war they want to know what kind of american are you are you on the right wing or are you the left wing you know and really we ain't for either of we, we for the lord that's who we for we for yahweh bosh and yahweh shai but go ahead uh, uh verse 16 it says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another right they shall not regard their kings nor princes mm -hmm. and the course of the actions shall stand in their power yeah so because people aren't going to be worried about the police officers or the judges because it's going to be anarchy a lawless society all the life the, the, the constitution is going to be suspended there's going to be martial law in play mm. you know you're going to have the military troops like you saw in the uh video and they they even uh one of the characters in this movie has said, uh, do you feel bad for calling an uh, airstrike on the American people? So the American military is going to be set against the American people. All right. You're going to have the military that's going to be out here in the streets, man. And they're going to be, if you're not in order with them, they'll just gun you down. Whether you American or not. That's why the guy said, what kind of American are you? Right. And now he was in what? Military apparel. Right. So he was ready to gun you down. He didn't care if you was American. All right, so these these uh, times we coming into is going to be completely civil unrest, lawlessness. No more police officers. People aren't going to care about 911. 911 going to go to dial tone. All right? Right, and uh, even in this trailer, you see how they, they bombarded Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. which is a city state, okay, uh, the, for the military, military state. Hey, but they went to Washington, D.C., and guess what? They, they took down the... Uh, the uh the capital um the white house you know they did all that shit man you see how people and they show you that back in what 2021 mm -hmm. they bombarded the capital you know which, oh yeah that was all the stage really but hey now it's gonna be now it's gonna be enhanced man you, and you see it now they got they fenced they fenced the capital they fenced the white house you know people are gonna be fucking bombarding that man they they not gonna care about the government, man. Cause hey, hey, that's why uh the scripture tells you uh woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay? Absolutely. Because guess what? They're gonna be in the fucking confusion, man. And that's how and that's how the elites are gonna establish order, man. Cause when it's all out chaos, like we've seen in uh Leave the World Behind, you know, and this trailer and hey, many other different movies. It's, you see nothing but chaos and destruction and fire and, you know, and people, you know, um, military coming down with missiles and et cetera. But see, that's how the elites want it. They want you to, you know, fight against each other. Even leave the world behind. He said that there's that three stages. There's three stages. This first stage was to bring the, the disaster, which was the uh, cyber, cyber attack. attack. The second stage was to uh, bring a false narrative to confuse the American people and have them look at each other like enemies. 
uh, bring a, uh, and then the third stage was all out civil war. Right. Because then by the third stage, people are already looking at each other. You can't trust your neighbor any, any more anymore. Right. Because they don't put a false narrative out there. Mm -hmm. And they have you believe in all this nonsense and shit. So you looking at your, your neighbor like an enemy. And the scriptures still go into that, man. Right. And the elites, uh, that's what, in that movie, that's what they told you. They're like, yeah, we're at the point where we want them to destroy each other. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's how the elite's going to establish order, bro. Yeah. They bring out that, that sea hip. Yep. Hey, and this is the guy right here on the screen. Military suit. And he said, well, I mean... What kind of American are you? Yeah. You know, I don't care if you're American. What, what, what kind are you at that point? Because it's going to be a civil war, man. This is what's coming to this place. All right? Look, they're going to have FEMA camps. All right? Well, let's, go, let's keep reading, man. All right? And I'm going to make this small. Pretty much got that. Uh, verse 17. Put it right here. It says, uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, which was like the first um, scene. Yeah, the first scene, all those cars were broken down. And the good scene with the uh, Teslas and uh, the movie Leave the World Behind. And the whole thing, uh, whatever uh, highway that was, our interstate, completely packed. You couldn't go nowhere. Even in that movie, they, they were trying to leave the house that they were at and leave the world behind. They were at this house and they were trying to leave to go into the city to find medicine. Which the woman was stupid for even trying to think of that, you know, during that time. But as they, they went and they couldn't even get nowhere. So like that's what's going to happen. A man shall desire to go into the city. You're not going to be able to. All right. And that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, they're pretty much showing you a suburb uh, point of view. They didn't show you what was going on in the cities. And the city is going to be chaos. There's going to be all out anarchy in the cities, man. All right. They show you uh, uh, more of outskirts, right. people that live in the outskirts in the mountains and far away. People that have to go to the city to get food and water. People that live out there, you know, because people that live outside the city, they gotta go to the city for food and water. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You gonna be fucking eating eating each other, man. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I also want to say too, and they show you that in I Am Legend, you right. know, with Will Smith when. Everybody got to get checkpoint in the military. Hey, you should desire to go on to the other side of the city, but you can't, you're not going to be able because military is right there checkpointing you, seeing if you're good or not. Hey, you know? now, this is the reality of um, leave the world behind and that point of view concerning the suburbs and the mountains and stuff. This is what's really going to happen. All right. Second Ezra 15 and 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Right, it's gonna be cannibalism. You're gonna end up killing each other, eating each other, man. All right, if they don't get the food, like the guy was went to the neighbor to get the medicine and they were ready, he was ready to blow their head off with that shotgun, man. All right, but in reality, all these, hey, especially these rich Edomites, they're not really ready for what's about to take place, man. They got these houses, they don't got uh, uh, things prepared they're not prepared and then the, the ones that do have bunkers like the um at the end of the movie she ended up the little girl ended up finding a bunker where were the people at that owned the bunker they were probably stuck in the city they probably worked in the city right. <laughs> it hit in the city you stuck there we're stuck in the highway so you built up this bunker you know you don't even get to go to it man all right so and really the bunkers are for who the elect the, elect, the hopeful elect whoever the elect is the Lord's going to guide you and lead you. You're going to have abundance, like the scriptures say, man. But civil war is coming to this place, man. Hey, shalom to the brothers and sisters tuning in, man. Go ahead. Kai, if you start up at verse 57, is uh. Yeah, sure. you can break it down. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15. In verse 57, thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. Right, man. So, hey. Uh, hey, kids are gonna be dying. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole bunch of kids dying because, hey, those, hey, the weak is gonna die first, man. The old, the old, the children, and guess what? Women gonna be folding up because they care about their children, mm -hmm. you know. And that's when you know the MOTB comes. You know they gonna be folding up. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, 
Hey. Or they're they going to eat their children. Right. That's even uh, uh, one of the curses in Deuteronomy 28. That she shall eat her own seed, her own children, man. That's what's going to be happening. These women, man, you got little babies, man. The Lord put the spirit on you to eat that, that child, man. And that's a curse. All right? And that's, hey, we coming into a time like never before, man. And in this time, we're not... We have confidence that the Lord is going to be with us, man. We believe that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to be with us. Uh, humbly speaking, we hope. That's what we're hoping for. That's the only reason. That's the only way we're going to be able to make it is if we have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If you don't have the Lord, you're not going to make it. You're fucked. All right? You're through. All right? Wait, I got scripture to back you up. This uh -huh. is uh, Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Mm. For these pine away stricken through for once of the fruit of the field yeah so they that be slain with the sword the modern day sword is the gun is better than dying by famine starving to death because with the sword you know is you get a shot to the dome or you get you know you bleed out and die hunger bro you starving your body starts eating itself away you start hallucinating you know that you, you ever had them hunger pains even when you go on a fast you might go on a fast one or two days you start getting them hunger pains. Your stomach start growling. Right. But imagine that. But you you cannot sustain your that feeling. You just got to live with it. Until the point you pine away and you dead. Yeah, people going to be scavenging for food and water. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. People people are not going to trust you, man. And hey, that's why. And um, if I could grab it real quick. In 2nd Ezra um, 15. And verse 19. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm. So you see, people are not going to be trusting each other. And you watch Leave the World Behind. Hey, you see how the uh, the Jake, he whipped, out the, he whipped out the strap on the neighbor. Nah, we ain't leaving until we get the medicine. All right? Hey, I don't give a fuck. You my friend or not. You know, because he came for a reason. Obviously, he was to get that medicine, but even the uh, the dude that owned the home, he had the shotgun already coming out the house. Right. You know, he's like, oh, oh, friend, I don't trust you, man. I'm here to protect my own. That's why the scripture said, shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm. but shall destroy the houses with the sword, with the gun, and spoil their goods, taking all your food, your water, medicine, because that's what the people really need. You know, and then it says, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, famine. All right, people are gonna be scab when you don't have no food, you're gonna have the man and the going out to get food and robbing and whatever. It says that for great tribulation, you know. And, and guess what, man? The elect gonna have to go through this as well, man. Cause hey, hey, the scriptures say, um, you're gonna know who are my chosen in that day. Yeah, man. then shall it be known. Cause the Lord is gonna be with his elect. All right. Uh, this is uh, real quick, and then we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra 15. I'm still on this. All right, yeah, hold on. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. It says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And the modern day Egyptians are these Americans, man. So, what the Lord is going to do, He's going to put a spirit in America, which is going to be the spirit of civil war. And these Americans, right wing versus the left wing. And then you're going to have the military in the middle, you know. And if, hey, if you're not following their orders, they're just going to kill you, man. Right. It says, and, and that's ultimately, that's what the elite want. The elite want chaos so they can bring order. And the order they're going to bring is the new world order. That's why the movie's called Leave the World Behind. What? The old world. It's not going back to normal. A a after the C-19, after the pandemic, bro, life has never been the same. And it's never going to go back to how it was ever again. That old way of living is done. Even now, there's things that are still affected from the pandemic, man. Right. All right? But not, but guess what? This new wave, this new uh, uh, scam-demic that's coming, and, like, they're showing you cy cyber attacks, man. And then uh, you got all these cyber attacks happening as we speak, you know, and all these nations are getting ready to take this place out, bro. So America is going to crumble from the inside out, all right? And that's that's what's about to take place, all right? But it says, Isaiah 19 and 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. What's that? Civil war, man. That's what's coming to America, a civil war. All right? 
And uh, I, I'll be even talking to people, bro. I, was, I, I did a ride today. I picked somebody up. And I'll be just throwing, I'll be saying little things in the spirit. But I'll be kind of like uh, nonchalant about it. I was picking this Edomite dude up. And I was like, I said something. I was like, yeah, you know, because a lot of people think the world's ending. That's what I said. He was like, yeah, my girl does. And my girl's been telling me that she wants at least six months of food in the house at all times. So these are just regular people. They're already in the mentality of this place is through, bro. This is Esau. Esau telling me this. So Esau's kingdom is through and they even see it. Even these Edomites see it, bro. This place is through, man. All right, hold on. Let me see if I got anything up here real quick. Nikon 5. Shalom to the brothers tuning in, man. Shalom, shalom. Brother drop Job 19 and 12. His troops come together and raise up their way against me and encamp round about my tabernacle. Right, because ultimately these troops going to be coming in too. These Gerger troops, military troops. And they, you already know they're going to paint a bad picture about the men of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, they're going to point the finger at the Hebrew Israelites. Like these are the, these are the bad guys. All right. All right, this is Nikon 5 again. Uh, Jeremiah 44 and 13. It says, For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as, I've, as I have punished Jerusalem by sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Woo! So the Lord is going to plague these Americans, man, with the sword, the modern day gun and hey bro every american and they fucking mother got guns right these these uh are proud to be americans hey they, they hold on to that what is that second amendment Good. right to bear arms they hold on to that bro and they proudly got guns on them man all right and now you got all these different type of weapons out here you got the, the gremlins the niggas the two-thirds with glocks with switches you know you got bazookas in the hood Grenade launchers. You got all different type of shit Jake got. Who you think gave them that, though? The devil. Esau eat them. So they got, hey, bro, these Americans strapped down to the T. All right? They got their swords, man. And that, that's one of the plays that the Lord's going to send is the sword. Right. And it's going to be these guns. All right? It says by famine, which is a lack of food, all the, all the storehouses are going to be found empty. It tells you that in 2nd Ezra. And by pestilence. Who knows? And then imagine a cyber attack happen. And then in the midst of the cyber attack, you have another scamdemic come, a real one. Right. Bro, mass death. Hey, even in show you and leave the world behind, they had a certain sound that was eerie to your ears, but it was radiation. That radiation, right? That's pestilence in itself right there. Well, it, bro, Salakia, perfect. Because then, boom, you got the cyber attack, everything's out. And then during the cyber attack, they pump in radiation, so you get radiation poison, and that's a real fucking, you want to talk about a scamdemic. That's going to, hey, bro, that's going to take out millions. Yeah, because our, our bodies can survive radiation, bro. Mm -hmm. Once you hit, like, if you go to certain levels and it has certain radiation, you die from the inside out, bro. That's why, uh, I don't even want to say it, man, because they're going to take the video down. <laughs> but... You know how they what they do in them hospitals. You know? Oh, exactly, exactly. When people go and they got them patients. Right. That's what they do, and it, it really just makes it worse. All right, but they got all this all this stuff, man, coming out concerning civil war. And why you think it is? Because that's what's coming to America. America is going to be in civil war, civil unrest soon, man. Military troops in the street like this, man. All right. Go, let's go back. Go ahead. You want to go back to 2nd Ezra 15? Yeah. Just go find, find wherever, you know. Uh, this is uh, second Ezra 15 and 18. It says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, mm. the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, the cities shall be troubled. So, yeah, you know, the outskirts and the, the suburbs, the mountains, they're going to be in trouble. But it's going to be a different type of trouble in the cities, man. Right. Them cities going to be packed down to the T. You got the hood, you know, you got gangs. Cause that's a whole nother thing. The gangs ain't just going to stop. You're going to have uh, the gangs fighting too, you know. Now you're going to have uh, the, the, the right wing versus the left wing. In the midst of the cities, bro, you in the, the city is going to be the worst place to be. So you're down the purge. And the purge, yep. And then, then you got the purge election year. So all this stuff is going to take place. And then they're going to try to uh, point the finger at Jake, right. you know. So, hey. Come on, man. Okay. And, hey, really, the elites are showing you 
because they got to show you before they actually do it. But really, that's coming from the Lord actually warning you, man, of things to come because it's already written. It's already been spoken about in the scriptures. And the and, uh, Lord uses prophets to speak his word to manifest into light, hmm. you know. But, hey, the elites already know this. Hey, and they show you in the movies and stuff like that. That's why people, oh, the Simpsons and fucking the movie. You know, hey, it's not... <laughs> It's not that. It's showing you that for a reason. Because they actually showing you what's going to happen in the future. Hey, can you uh real quick go to Bible Hub? Type in uh Psalm 64 and 5 Bible Hub. Because then it brings up all the different versions. But I'm gonna read it real quick because what the brother was saying. Psalm 64 and verse 4 or verse uh five, it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them, right? And that's what they do with these movies. They're setting up different traps and telling you what they're going to do, their plans in these movies. And, you know, these damn Americans, these people watching it for entertainment, you're not understanding that this is reality. This is what's about to take place. All right? You got it? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, they say, laying snares, they say traps. NLT, it says, they encourage each other to do evil and plan how to set their traps in secret. Who will ever notice, they ask. So that's what they say. They, they're in the mentality. They put all this stuff in the movie, the movies, and they're, they're like, who, who will ever find out? No one's going to find out. But the Lord is searching them out but via the prophets. Even in the uh, movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, when they show you the map of America, there was a QR code in the map. And the QR code links to a... Uh, 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 like a amusement park that was made on top of a burial ground for uh, the Native Americans. It's some haunted um, amusement park. But they got a QR code. They put a QR code in, on the map, bro. All right, so come on, man. These devils. All right. Let's go back. Go ahead, Ike. Uh, or if you find something. Let me grab this real quick from Nikon 5. Here we go. Nikon 5, 2nd Ezra 16 and 8, the mighty Lord Yahweh sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Right, the Lord is the one who's sending these plagues at the end of the day. And who's going to be able to drive them away? Nobody. Meaning, they all going to take place. All the plagues going to happen, man. Go ahead. Uh, I got Isaiah 29 and 15 to back up uh, the Psalm 64. Mm -hmm. It says, Warn to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, mm. and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Right. And you, who produce, who is behind the producing of Leave the World Behind was the Obamas. And you know, the Obamas are on the inner circle with the elite. And the elite, they get together and they have their secret councils at the Bilderbergs. You know, they go over there to uh, worship Molech, you know, and they, they talk about their plans, the New World Order. They talk about their plans that they're going to bring upon the earth. All right, which is going to really is chaos that they want to bring to establish their order. All right. This is uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity mm. and work evil upon their beds. Yeah, you Edomites. It really starts with Esau, Edom. They wake up every day, these elites, and they're thinking about new ways to conquer and take over the whole earth. And they're doing it by way of destruction, death, and famine. See, the Lord is using these Edomites to bring all of this stuff, man. All right. Go ahead. It says, when the morning is light, they practice it mm. because it is in the power of their hand. And they show you that in the movie, Leave the World Behind, because, um, you know, uh, if, you, if you could grab um, the Lord come like a thief. Yeah. You know, hey, because in the movie, the family was in the Airbnb out there vacationing and stuff. And it was a normal day to them. But really... That's when everything started to happen because Wi-Fi not working, you know, and that's when the elites were actually doing doing stuff. And then when you watching that movie, Jake was telling the story to to the woman, the Edomite woman, about how the elites were planning to do this, man. Right. You know, he was talking to the defense attorney of the Pentagon. He's like, oh, you, they're both were drinking, and that showed you when hey, drinking got that spirits on you because you start revealing shit. Mm -hmm. He was telling you they were laughing and whatever. 
And then the defense attorney was like, he's like, yeah, man, I wish I could take you on this trip, but uh, you know, it's for an evil meeting. Right, right one, so, of the, one of those evil meetings. Right, he started laughing and shit about it, but that you know was dead ass serious. Yeah. And then it, and it proved it because then the Jake, because he's a, um, I guess he's a money advisor with the stocks the elite had called him on a regular day to move his money he's like hey man i need you to move my money whatever i'm gonna be gone for a while and then you know the jake ended up joking back with him the same thing the defense attorney had told him the elite didn't laugh he's like well hey be prepared mm -hmm. whatever I hung up the phone so. yeah because even even recently like i'm going three two three years ago you had all these super rich people take their money out of their stocks, man. Because, hey, civil war is coming, bro. Right. This thing's done, bro. All right, you guys going in their bunkers. But I got that for you. This is uh, mm -hmm. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves, know perfectly that the day of Yahweh shy so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. The Lord's going to come like a thief in the night, man. See, Jake, that's not prepared. Israelite men, they're not prepared. What you how about Shimei on shy? You're going to be caught like a thief, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I'm going to grab Sirach 5. Mm -hmm. Because Jake liked to be complacency And I seen that the other day You know, I was on the phone with this brother Paul showing a whole bunch of Jake, man They just fucking chilling, man Right, that guy, boom gang Boom gang Church Tripping, tripping All about food well, What was he known for? Put him in the car? No, no, no uh, Taking your shit Taking your shit and running with it Right That guy is bugging out You know And now he got fucking worshiping Jesus and shit, man You know <laughs> But you see, I show him, I show him Jake because Jake is just in a docile fucking state, just there for food and gimmicks and music and shit, bro. See, but that's when the Lord gonna come like a thief because you're not watching. Right. You're not seeing the things that are going on. You're not hearing the prophets. You're not watching the news, seeing the things that elites are putting in front of you. These movies. See, Jake, Jake be thinking they woke, man. But being woke is to actually know who you are, who is your power. Right. You know, seeing he, the things that are going to happen. You know what, Jake? Jake is fake deep. That's right. what they are, fake deep, you know? And really, you ain't deeper than putting your thumb in the, the dirt, all right? But this is uh, Micah 6 and 12 from the Brother Nikon 5. Micah 6 and 12, for the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, wow. and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth yes yeah, so the rich men the super elite you know the ones that are really calling the shots that own the banks the oil hey kanye west recently went on another rant 10 minute video i saw today bro he was naming names in this one he said the rothschilds he was going in bro you gotta watch that video a new kanye west video came out he was snapping he was telling you god is the head then you got the, the rich thousand a thousand rich families and then you got he, he was labeling it in order and then you the got pyramid. us. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was labeling the pyramid, man. It's funny because Kanye, not too long ago, well, probably this week, Kanye got a fucking black KKK fucking hat on. Yeah, tripping. What does that resemble, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, Guy's bugging. Kanye tripping. But I got the scripture. If you, um, if you ain't find that, I got a scripture real quick. If I can bring it out. Yeah, go ahead. Con, this is uh, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Mm, make no tearing. So don't don't put off from day to day, man. Don't don't tarry. Don't wait. And really, you, you, Jake is in that spirit. Jake is like, I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll serve the Lord tomorrow. You know. Nah, bro. Go ahead. Up. Con, it says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. Mm -hmm. See, these movies are happening and showing you for a reason. And, you know, Jake just, bro, I've been seeing the spirit lately, bro. It's fucking from women too, bro. Fucking, they just want to get close to the Bible and shit, bro. Right, right. Jake want to get close to the Bible when shit hit the fan. What about when shit is easy? When shit is calm? Yeah, when you got food in your your house, you know. When you got a job, when you can pay your bills, when you got a car, when you can, you know, go to the store. Right. But when all when shit hits the fan, when shit gets real, that's when Jake want to seek the Bible. But by then, it's gonna be too late. Right. That's when the Lord is gonna take His prophets out the scene. That's Amos eight and eleven. Amos 8 and 11 was in that movie, uh, Leave yeah. the World Behind, man. Yep. The because, famine of the word. Right, because when they try to go on the internet, hey, the young man is going to be fainting for thirst. You think we're going to be out there on the streets during a cyber attack? Teaching. During during a, a civil war? You're going to have Jake. You're going to have Americans killing each other and then Jake right there in a garment. This is prophecy. Right now, this is, <laughs> look, second instance. Second is 15. Right. Boom. Get shot in the head. You're going to have the salt water out there. Yep. You're going to have, you're gonna have the, the, the false prophets, man. You right. know. Go ahead. Con, this is a uh, 
Sirach 5 and 7 says, make no turn to turn to the Lord. And hey, I, so like, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys like the, the, the WFIs or they like to get arrested and, you know, scream. And I wouldn't be surprised if those guys were still out there, though, man. <laughs> trying to get clout and shit. Right. But go ahead. Because that's that's the salt water, man. Mm -hmm. Because this word is sweet. But, hey, you're going to have them false prophets, you know, these blind leaders be out there it's trying to still teach you. And that's going to really show you who's teaching the truth and sincerity or not, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because the Lord is going to leave them blind niggas out there teaching you and leaving you to a fucking destruction ditch. To death. Versus the ones he's really dealing with, man. Right. All right? But uh it says, Make no chance to turn to the Lord and putting it off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right? Like that thief. And it says, And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Mm. You're not security. When you think you all good, you know. Feet kicked up. Like, hey, that, the movie, Leave the World Behind. They were going on a vacation. You know, these privileged Edomites going on a vacation, kicking their feet up. Just like that. Cyber attack. Lights out. You know, that's how it's going to be, bro. You know, so we coming into a time like never before, man. All right? You want to end it off with that? Yeah. Well, my 30? Yeah, go ahead. Because I know you got Yeah, go ahead. And then we're good. We'll end it off. I'll probably play this one more time. Uh, Go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 30, and start at verse 6. So like you start at verse 5. It says, For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right. Ask ye now, and see whether a man do have travail with a child. Mm. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, and you got to envision these scriptures, man. You got to be a visionary, man. You got to see, when we read these scriptures, you got to envision this. And what Jeremiah is seeing, he's seeing grown men screaming like women giving birth, like their hands on their loins screaming. You're going to have grown men. He's going to have few men left. A lot of men going to be sent off to war. There's going to be a draft. Go over there to the Middle East and fight in the war of Armageddon. Whoever's here, you're going to be in the midst of a civil war, civil unrest, uh, FEMA camps guys getting beheaded you know it's gonna be all types of chaos famine people eating each other women getting ravished you know babies getting dashed oh, bro it's gonna be sick bro but the lord is gonna be with his elect through all of this as we tell you what's coming whoever the elect is you brothers you sisters that believe on your house i was shy that believe in the holy bible the lord's gonna keep you safe all right so go ahead Cons. i just gonna say we don't you don't fear what man can do unto you so you're not supposed to necessarily fear the things that are coming. Now, in, in the flesh, you, you might get a little worked up. But in the, in the mind, you're thinking like, okay, how about me? I was shy. It's going to be with me, man. Right. All right. That's that confidence you're supposed to really have. Right. See, now, when we watch these movies, yeah, it's going to put a fear in you because that's the Lord trying to build you up. Because, hey, fear the Lord, the more wisdom, right. more knowledge, understanding. You want to get closer to your power. You know, hey, that's that fear built inside because you really fear the this Lord doing all this, right? Doing all these things, man. He's showing you the things that are going to come. You're gonna be in fear. Mm -hmm. He wants you to fear the Lord, right? Exactly. But at the same time, you gotta. It's gonna be able to trust in you. I mean, trust in the Lord. Yeah. Build up your faith. Oh, let me get close to my power. You know, build up the things I need to now before all shit hit the fan. But uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 says, "Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it." It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, Jacob's trouble. That's the time we're coming into. That, that, that's what you're seeing in these movies, Civil War. Uh, and ultimately, it's going to end with nuclear holocaust. Nukes just going to wipe this bitch out. Right. That's how it's going to end. You know, and that's really Jacob. That's really the time of Jacob's trouble. But even before the nukes come, it's going to be trouble in the streets. And for Jake, really, and really the, the plagues that we talk about, the famine, the death, it's really for these damn Edomites, these heathens. And for two thirds of our people, man, it's not. See, Jacob's trouble ain't going. Uh, it's not for the elect, you know. Now the elect gonna go through it, but the Lord's bringing Jacob's trouble for two thirds of our people that are out here just living carelessly, twerking on headlights, you know, uh, getting abortions, uh, you know, uh, gang, you know, all this nasty, weird shit going on in the world, man. You know, Israelite. You got the rappers. The rap community, all of this shit is just weirdo shit. And the Lord is bringing, going to bring utter chaos and destruction to two thirds of our people. You niggas that's in that mentality of being a rapper and ball player and be of this world. 
You're not gonna make it, bro. The Lord ain't gonna deal with you. Go I got ahead. I got one more. Mm -hmm. First Thessalonians five and nine. For Yahweh Bashim Yahshua have not appointed us to wrath. Mm, so whoever the elect is, you're not gonna be appointed to the wrath that's coming. The wrath is coming, but the elect is gonna be delivered from it. Like like I said, Jeremiah 37, but he shall be, be saved, saved out of it. it. Go ahead. It says, For Yahweh Bashim Yahshua have not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation mm. by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah, so you brothers and sisters got to believe. Have confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You're not doing this work for nothing. The Lord ain't going to leave you out here high and dry, you know, unless you're not doing the work sincerely, unless you got ulterior motives, you know. It starts in your mind. First. Start, hey, yep, it's all up here. You know, the Lord's looking at the inward man at the end of the day. But if you write on the inward and you are a sincere brother of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, sincere sister, you ain't got nothing to worry about. The Lord's not going to lead you down that that path of death you know even though certain brothers might have to go through uh get beheaded be martyred but really the the trouble that's coming jacob's trouble the agonizing pain and shit that's for two-thirds of our people all right the elect is not going to be uh destined to that man all right you want to play the video yeah we'll play the video and then we'll close it out all right so let me play the video we'll play the video one more time and we'll close this bad boy out the United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. <laughs> Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? Take over all the empires. That's why it's called King of the Kings, Lord of Lords, man. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, how I said, any kingdom divided against itself shall not stand, man. All right, so yeah, I just went into the trailer, Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Tomorrow we're gonna try to go into uh this this movie one more time and put, try to get all the meat off the bones for the, the end of the world or leave the world behind movie, which it is the end of the world, man. So with that, hey. Call her low. Yeah, how old by Shimmy Oshai by Shimmy Kakudash. Don't want us to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Lord willing is edifying. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom.